Ah, it's finally here. Hello everyone, Justin from Out of the Basement here, and today I have something very special. It is the Entertainment Earth exclusive Clone Trooper 4-pack from the Black series. Entertainment Earth was having a Black Friday sale. Usually this is like anywhere from $80 to $100 from eBay or Amazon, but they had a Black Friday deal for $39.99 with free shipping. Could not pass this deal up. This has been on my Black Series list for a long, long time, and I'm so excited to finally have it. So let's get into a review. So this is the packaging. The packaging is honestly really awesome. Here's the side. It has everything that it, all the troopers that it comes with, some warnings. And on this side, kind of not much. On that side, you have all of the figures, the 501st Legion, Coruscant Guard, 212th Attack Battalion, 442nd Siege Battalion, Clone Troopers. And here's the top, just has Star Wars, the Black Series logo, and the scanning. So let's open this bad boy up. All right, so all of these individual packages are connected for each one. And it's just your very standard Black Series packaging, except for opening the boxes was really hard. They have this, like, very confusing, like, way of opening the tops of the packages. But there's profile shots of all the clones, all the different clones. It's pretty much the same for each one. If you want to read the 501st one, you could go ahead and pause it there. If you want to read the Coruscant Guard read-up, you can go ahead and pause it there. If you want to read the 212th Attack Battalion, there's the description for that. And here is the description for the 442nd Siege Battalion. So right off the bat, I do not really like the packaging and how everything is connected. I just think it would probably be easier if they are all separate packages. And the top, the top packaging is just really... It's more difficult than a regular Black Series figure, so I don't really know why they had to go with that. But I mean, obviously, this doesn't really matter. Let's get into the figures. All right, here are all the clones out of the packaging. And let me just say, first impressions, this set looks amazing. I love the look of the Phase 2 clones. There's a whole bunch of wear and tear on their armor, and it they just look incredible. So... First off, I'm going to get into the details and the paint, and then the accessories, and then articulation. Alright, so we'll start off with the 501st, the Blue Trooper. You could just see all this, like, grass or dirt all over his helmet. Just, like, he's seen some action. And there's a lot of good weathering detail throughout all of these clones. The shoulder pad, the chest armor. The paint is really good, too. I really like the blue. And all the paint on these are like super glossy and I don't know, it just looks really good. A lot of good weathering, a lot of good detail, <clears throat> even on the back. Pretty much like every piece of armor has some kind of weathering on it. I do like how it's more subtle in the back though. And then there's not any more, but the legs on this side just have a really good, and I love the blue stripe right here. And I don't know, that's probably one of my favorite things about these figures is the weathering effects that they put on it. The paint apps are honestly great. So now we'll get into the Coruscant Guard or Shock Trooper, Red Clone Trooper, whatever you want to say. Uh, same kind of thing, a lot of weathering on the helmet. Some up there. Then one thing, this is only on the red one. There's a whole bunch of scratches on the chest piece. I think that's absolutely awesome. Love the red stripes on here as well. Weathering on the shoulder pads. Uh, the back, it's, it's kind of subtle, just like the other trooper as well. And then same thing with the legs. Love this red stripe as well. Side note, they actually messed up on these paint apps for the red one, the Coruscant Guard. Just to compare real quick, you this one is the clone trooper that came in this pack, and this one is the Battlefront uh, Walmart exclusive shock trooper. and you can see how this one formed into this one and you can see the resemblance. 
Now we have the 212th Legion clone. Not so much on the helmet. I like how it is mixed. It's not the same type of weathering on every single one of these figures. They are different. Like, this one probably has the least amount of weathering, and that's okay. That's okay. I mean, there still is some. Still love the design of the yellow, but... Yeah, not so much. There's actually barely any on the back. There is some a little bit right there. Shoulder pads. A little bit on the legs and the chest piece. I really like how clean this one looks. Because I didn't want them all to just be like weathered away. This one is still pretty clean. And finally, the green one. And yeah, same kind of weathering going on here. Not so much the back. Although there is some on his little grenade pouch there. Oh, there's some on, I like this right here, the arm scratches right here. Really like the paint detail on this one, really like this shade of green. The legs are awesome because it looks like he's been in the swamp or something, maybe Kashyyyk. So it's like green muck to go with his green armor, but the paint detail is just awesome. Now let's get into the accessories. Each clone trooper comes with one accessory, which is a weapon, a rifle, and three of them come with the more standard issue clone blaster. And the Coruscant Guard comes with this long blaster. It's the only one that comes with it. Uh, I really love the detail of this long blaster, but there's no paint. But yeah, there's no paint on these, but I still like the detail and it still looks really cool on them. There's no paint on any of these. However, the detail on them are awesome. You've seen these before. It's the same exact mold of the other a standard issue clone blaster that it comes with. I really like the detail and the sculpt of the weapons, but they don't have any paint apps. And eh, it's okay. They obviously put all the paint apps into the actual figures themselves. And these are all the same, so I don't have to show all of those. All right, going over articulation, this is on a ball joint, I believe. It's on a ball joint, although you cannot take the head off. You can definitely not take the head off. The head doesn't really tilt side to side either. You can just rotate it. And it can't really look up all that high. It can look down way further than it can look up, though. You got a nice little ab crunch there. Eh, kind of good. You don't really get a whole lot of movement there. Uh, the arms can go out like that, although... The shoulder blades will stop that from happening. You do have the double jointed elbows. You do, it's also a swivel. You do have this, the wrists, the hands are on a hinge that go in and out and rotate. Same thing with the other side. Uh, the clones, ooh, can it do the splits? I don't really think they can do the splits, but the upper thigh is on a swivel. And it can kick back that far. And it can also kick forward really far. Really high, actually. But the knees, you got double jointed knees. The uh, feet go up that far. They go... They go, they go down, but these are older figures, so it's kind of stiff, but they do go down. And, of course, it has ankle pivot. And same thing for the other, the other leg. And it should also be noted that each figure for the right hand is the trigger finger, and the left hand will be a sort of a gripping, a gripping hand. But altogether, I think the articulation is really, really good especially with double jointed elbows. This was released back when Black Series figures still had really good articulation. Nowadays with the Rogue One figures and the Force Awakens figures, they have, the troopers specifically, have horrible articulations such as the First Order Stormtrooper. But I think all of these figures are really good. I love the paint apps, love the detail. I mean, I just, this has been on my list for a very, very, very long time, and I can't believe I got it for $39.99. Love all these figures, love the detail, the paint apps. The accessories don't have paint apps, but they're all right. You know, what else are they gonna come with other than their weapon? And the articulation is awesome. Love these figures. That has been my review of this Clone Trooper 4-pack from Entertainment Earth. I've been Justin from Out of the Basement. If you like that video, go ahead and click subscribe or click like, or both. 
Subscribe to the channel if you like action figures, action figure reviews, hunting vlogs, Blu-rays, movie reviews, comics, all sorts of nerdy nonsense. So if you'd like, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys later.